hello everyone in this video I will show you how to calculate maximum number of threads supported by JVM while creating a thread a particular stack size uh, allotted to thread so that thread can perform its operation now there is a limitations that uh, there is a limit on the number of thread so how to find out that limit so what we are going to do is that first we will implement runnable interface so that we can create thread and in this we will define run method so uh, whatever thread we are going to create that thread actually we are targeting to run forever so our thread when we will create and when we will, when we will uh, call start method this run method will be called and uh, that method will be busy in executing this loop forever so during execution what we will do we will make that thread to sleep and here we catch interrupted exception in case if another exception interrupted and let's see we will print here thread interrupted now next what we will do in our main method we are going to create uh, let's say thousand number of threads and uh, we will see how much time taken by thousand number of threads so we will write a class class demo So we have defined our method so in this method what we are going to do uh, we will take one i and we will create a we will start a loop and this will this loop will run thousand number of times so in this loop i am going to start thread so let me first create object of my class one which implemented runnable interface and then I will create a object of thread class and in main uh, sorry in for loop what I'm going to do I will create object of thread class I will pass my class object and then I will call start method so when we call start method it actually create another thread and that thread will execute run method and uh, in the method we have defined a infinity loop so that thread will be keep on running and the next thing what we want to do we want to see the time as well so we will measure the time before creating thread uh, we can use nano time it will give us current system current time in nanosecond and here we will calculate this time again what is the system time and at the end we will print let's say time taken to create thousand threads and here we will print t2 minus t1 so this time will represent how much time taken by jvm to create that number of Thread. so at the end we will print nanosecond as well so now uh, during uh, creation of this thread some point of time it might be possible that the number go beyond the limit of JVM and in that case out of memory error will be thrown so what we will do we will enclose this for loop in a try block okay and till here and here we will write catch out of memory error so if this exception is thrown we will print that out of memory exception came or we can say not enough memory and we will print 
uh, which number of thread actually caused this error so let's say uh, while creating 500 th uh, 500 thread this uh, error occurred so this i will be let's say 499 so we will print value of i as well not enough memory and then we will print while creating i thread so it will print which number of thread actually caused the error so now if you will compile this program we will compile it and run it okay so it is showing some error we have actually misspelled this println in 42 number of lines so this is println actually we will again compile our program okay so our program is compiled now we will try to run so for create a thousand thread my system is actually taking seven point something nanosecond and this program will keep on running because whatever thread we have created those thread will be running forever so we will terminate this program by pressing ctrl c now uh, one thing is that while running this program i can change default stack size let's say i want to set stack size 1024 kb so in that case when i run this program whatever thread my program will create every thread will be having stack of 1024 kb so if i again run this program i just wait uh, java minus xss 1024 actually not kb it's only k so here you can increase the size so let's say if i want to have every thread 2048 kb so if i run this program again so if you can see here i have tried to assign every thread a stack of size 2 mb and in that case my program can my jvm can support only 536 thread so while creating this 536 thread uh, out of memory error will is thrown so as you increase size of memory our jvm can support less number of thread now so this is the way to change the stack size so this program you can change this value like, let's say you want to see my system can support 2000 number of thread or not and we will so uh, if you try to terminate like this one it will show you as well java out of memory exception occurred so in this case actually jvm is crashed so this program you can use for finding out how much time taken by jvm to create a particular number of thread and how to find out limit of jvm which can be supported number of thread so what is the limit for no maximum number of thread thank you very much for watching